We'll need you to put these on. What is this? Oh, wow. The suit is molding itself to the shape of my body. That is a Defense Force Kaiju combat suit. It's made from organic material taken from Kaiju bodies, and massively multiplies the combat power of its wearer. Your suit is the most valuable weapon you have in your fight with the Kaiju. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Reggie here, back with you for another video. Welcome back to the House of Animation, where we have discussions and reviews about our favorite anime and cartoons. And today's video is going to be somewhat of a part two to a previous video we did talking about the power system of Kaiju number eight. We're going to be discussing the most powerful weapons the Defense Force has in the fight against Kaiju. We're going to go through the powers and abilities of all of the numbered weapons combat suits. But before we get into that, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you like this type of content and hit that noti bell down below so you know when we drop more videos. So house fam, you know what time it is. Let's drop that intro. So to quickly go over the basics of the Defense Force combat suits, these combat suits are made from the remains of dead kaiju, mainly their muscle fibers and organs. By syncing your body and mind with the combat suit, you're able to increase all of your physical traits. Your strength, speed, reflexes, agility, everything can be increased up into 100% of the suit's power. These suits are made from your general kaiju. Anything with a fortitude of 8.9 and below are used as general combat suits. However, the numbered die kaiju, anything with a fortitude of 9 and above, when these kaiju are able to be defeated, they're able to become numbered weapons. The numbered weapons are made from the numbered die kaiju once they become identified. These special suits are one of a kind. They are made from the dead remains of the strongest class of kaiju there is. Every numbered weapon is unique and each of them give you a special ability which makes them distinct from the rest. They all give you the abilities of that Dai kaiju when it was alive. Many of the suits even come with their own specialized weapons to assist in conjunction with the suits. But since these suits are specially made from the strongest class of kaiju that there is, they need a complete compatible user to be able to function. You can't just hand these out to anybody. In addition to just finding somebody, repeated use of these numbered weapon suits are dangerous and potentially damaging to the body. It's been stated in the manga that repeated use of a numbered weapon actually takes years off of your life. So out of the eight known numbered weapon suits, we've only seen five. So we're gonna go through each of those numbered weapon suits and talk about their powers and abilities. Starting out with the very first suit ever made, Numbers Weapon 1. So Numbers Weapon 1 is used by the first division captain, Gen Narumi. This is a combat suit made from the corpse of Kaiju Number 1. And this suit actually pairs with some eye contacts made from the retinas of Kaiju Number 1. So other than the basic physical boost you get from the normal combat suits, this Numbers Weapon allows the user a certain degree of future sight. Kaiju Number 1 had the ability to read the electrical signals going from the brain to the body to be able to predict the future actions of its opponents. It was called the Future Sight Kaiju and now Numbers Weapon 1 is able to do the same. Now the next Numbers Weapon is Numbers Weapon 2. This weapon was made from Kaiju Number 2 and in terms of raw strength it's considered one of the most powerful Kaiju to ever live. This suit was used by the Director General of the Defense Force and actually came with a pair of gauntlets that were used in conjunction with the combat suit. This suit grants the user extreme raw physical strength as well as the ability to launch sonic attacks as well as energy admissions. Now the next suit we've seen is Numbers Weapon 4. Now this suit is used by the Director General's daughter, Kikuru. This suit was made from Kaiju Number 4 and grants the user extreme speed and is the only flying weapon suit. Now the next suit we're aware of is Numbers Weapon 6 and is used used by Leno Ichikawa. Now, when it was alive, Kaiju number six is the cause of Japan's greatest disaster. Before its death, this Kaiju killed more than 200 soldiers as well as multiple captains. 
this dog looked like Godzilla himself. Now, Weapon 6 actually provides Leno ice abilities. And the suit even comes with its own special weapons, these small floating cannons, which provide Leno even greater control of his ice abilities. Now, the last weapon suit that we've been able to see at this point in the manga is Numbers Weapon 10. This suit is used by Hoshina, who is actually the one who helped defeat Kaiju Number 10. Weapons 10 might be the most unique out of the Numbers weapons because it is sentient. It's the first weapon suit that actually has a will of its own. Kaiju number 10 is essentially still alive and with the tail that comes with the suit, he's basically able to fight with you. So along with those five numbered weapon suits, there's actually three more numbers weapons that we're aware of, but we haven't yet seen in the manga. And that's numbers weapon three, five, and seven. So unfortunately, because we don't know anything about those Kaiju and their abilities, we can't even guess to see what those suits powers may be. However, there are five number Daikaiju that actually just got defeated in the manga. So we're gonna take a look at their powers and abilities and guess to see what those suits may be in the future. So the first Kaiju to recently get defeated in the manga was Kaiju number 11. This was a humanoid Kaiju with the head shape of a whale with fins on both of its arms and a long tail. And the special abilities that this Kaiju had was that it was able to control water. That's right, my man was water bending. So I think an easy guess for this suit's powers would be some type of hydrokinesis abilities. I think being able to control water in the area would be a great ability or even having the suit be an aquatic based suit, being able to fight kaiju in the water. The same way how Numbers Weapon 4 is the only flight based suit, this might be the first water based suit. Now the next kaiju I think is going to be made into a suit is kaiju number 12. Now kaiju number 12 is technically the final version version of kaiju number 10 which was just a prototype but one of the abilities that it was able to show that numbers weapon 10 didn't have too much was the ability to shape weapons out of its hands although most kaiju have the ability to transform their bodies i feel like numbers 12 had a greater ability than the others so i think a good ability for this suit would be able to transform its arms into weapons such as swords hammers axes etc i think this suit could really be good for a weapons expert in the defense force. Now, Kaiju number 13 looked the most like Kaiju number nine, which created it. This Kaiju had a slim frame, lacked any type of eyes or ears, and had a really slim but athletic build. And the abilities that this Kaiju showed was extreme speed. My man was able to keep up with cars going on the highway at over 80 miles per hour. So I think an easy ability for this suit is being able Able to grant the user extreme speed. Now the next numbered kaiju was kaiju number 14. Now this kaiju had a real square and rectangular shape with four creepy ass faces on each side of it. Now although every kaiju kind of has multiple abilities, this kaiju was unique because it had four main abilities. This kaiju had the ability of levitation, teleportation, energy beams, and force fields. So for this weapon suit, if I could pick, I think it's abilities is gonna be force fields. Energy beams are cool, but I think it would be kind of redundant because we already got guns. Teleportation, I think is a bit too OP. And levitation, we already have suit number four that can already fly. But a weapon suit that is able to use shields to be able to not only defend itself, but possibly multiple people I think would be a good addition to the team now last but not least is kaiju number 15 now this kaiju actually looked like a small skinny woman with a large exposed brain on the top of her head and a brain surrounding her waist and just like kaiju number 14 15 also had a lot of unique abilities but I think the main ability that it had was its mental manipulation powers like this kaiju was damn near professor X and was able to invade the mind of its opponents being able to create hallucinations or even just mess with their brain and perception. So for this suit,
Jutsu, I think the obvious power is gonna be some form of telepathy, but I think the unique flip on this would not be telepathy to be able to attack the Kaiju, but telepathy to be able to communicate and coordinate with other members in the defense force. Oftentimes, Kaiju number nine is jamming the radio signals that they use to communicate, so having someone who would be able to relay information across the battlefield mentally, I think would be a huge addition to the defense force. So that's that's pretty much it house fam those are all of the powers and abilities of all of the known weapon suits that we have in kaiju number eight as well as my predictions for the future abilities of the numbered weapon suits so comment below and let me know what your favorite numbered weapon suit is and let me know how you feel about kaiju number eight so far but with that i got nothing left for this video so peace